I didn't want to make this video, but I don't have a choice. Back before the game was going to get officially released, I made a promise to myself. If it was good, then I wouldn't say anything about it. And if it was bad, I was going to absolutely rip it apart for the sake of a video. And I'm not just some random hater or schmuck either. I've been playing the game since the start of the beta to the very end of it. I had a blast while playing this game. I met my best friend while playing this game. To say I loved multiverses more than I've loved anyone ever before would be an understatement. So this does come out of love. Um, and whether you want to blame the developers or the publishers, I don't really care for, you know, the specifics. I don't care for pointing blame. I'm just mad that my favorite fucking game was turned into a generic Smash clone. So I'm gonna talk about it. Now, everyone for these complaint videos usually brings up the, the game's speed. And yeah, that's generally a good place to start. The game's speed is painfully slow. I mean painful compared to the original. If you got used to the fun and free feeling you got in the beta just by moving around, where it felt like the world was, you know, in the palm of your hand, well, I hope you like feeling like you're at the DMV just waiting in a painfully long line, because, yeah, that, that's what the game feels like now. You, you're just waiting in a line, hoping for a slight buzz of enjoyment, just a tingle of the mangled corpse they now call multiverses. It's not just that, the game is stupid slow, but the input lag is also worse now. You can't change it, it's just 30 dead set. I get that they're working on it, but holy fuck, you don't release a fighting game with 30 frames of input buffer. What the fuck? For a normal fighting game, here, let's let's role play this real quick. I'll, I'll, I'll say click, and then, and then I'll do, you know, boom. I'll, I'll show you what happens when you're, like, buffering an input for a normal game and, like, when it comes out. So click is when you input it, boom is when it, when it comes out. Okay, you ready? So for a normal fighting game, typical fighting game, click, boom, click, boom, click, boom, click, boom. And here's multiverses, 30 frames of mm, delicious input buffer. Click. Boom. Click. Boom. Oh, it's so good. It feels like you're playing in the past. It feels like you're playing a real-time strategy game, and I mean that in the worst possible sense you can take it. So yeah, the slower game speed and input lag make the game incredibly slow. It's impressive. I want to give multiverses a medal for disappointing me this badly. You'd feel more action playing Uno than you would playing this game, and I'm speaking from experience. Hey, Editor Jinju here. Comparing this game to Uno is actually an insult to Uno. I, I just wanted to clear that up real quick. I had more fun playing Uno, you know, it was a more fun, action-filled time than playing a fighting game. I'm, I I'm not just a boring person who just, you know, loves Uno to death. When Uno is more exciting than your fighting game, you fucked up. You've genuinely fucked up. So, uh, to describe the new multiverses gameplay, it feels stressful and also boring and unengaging. Now how could we make this game even worse, guys? Come on, let's step it up. We need to make this game absolutely horrible. Oh yeah, let's, let's bring up dodges. It's the rate at, like, when you can dodge. When you hit someone with a move, they can dodge basically instantly after it. And in the old, you know, in the old multiverses, this wasn't a problem at all. You could just, like, wait half a second, you know, and you could catch someone if they're just mashing dodge. In, you know, this now, if you try to just wait half a second, it, you know, it's, like, too late. They're already, like, gone. It, the game is so slow... Like, they can just react. Like, if they see that you're gonna do a move, they can just react perfectly on time. It is... Oh my god, it is horrible. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, like, getting combos is just a thing of the past unless it true combos, which just kills a lot of characters' movesets. It is it's so awesome, dude. It's, it's so cool. 
But with dodges now, you know, how slow they are, and, you know, with your movement being so slow, they can just, you know, react in any action in the game that there was, you know, just gone. It's great. It's great. Honestly, the dodge meter thing was a nice change, you know, having it to where, like, they can't be invulnerable forever. It's a good change. But by them toning down the movement so much and making the game as slow and responsive as it is, this is what I call a casual's paradise. I've never, ref I've never used this title to refer to any other fighting game before. This is a multiverses exclusive. And now, if it was just those things, the game would still probably be good enough for me to not call it just a casual's paradise. But... <laughs> Of course it doesn't stop there. Why would it stop there? You know, why should the game be at least good enough? You know, we need to goon it even more. That's the, that's the standard, okay? So, in, in, you know, the original beta, right, the knockback of moves and, like, the scaling with how much damage your opponent had, you know... You couldn't just hit someone with any stray hit and they'd automatically, like, you know, get knocked out. But you can in this game. You, you, I'm, I'm not joking. You just can. And it, and it knocks them out. There is, like, you, you could literally do a coughing move that does one damage and as long as they're above a hundred, you know, percent, it's gonna knock them out. It takes away literally any and all skill because, you know, they just button mash in your random direction. And, you know, it, it really is a casuals game. And, I, and I'm not mad at casuals. Like, I think that casual players should be able to get enjoyment out of a game. But when the game is so unbelievably dumbed and stripped down to this level, I can't even see it being good for casuals. This is like a game for drunk people. That is the only way you'd be finding this game enjoyable, if, if I'm being honest. Oh, okay, still more video to go. Okay, because in the old multiverses, some moves, you know, they, they would just not really KO even if they had a pretty high percentage. You know, you'd have to be at like 400 for some moves to, you know, KO. It, you know, you used to have some strategy and skill needed because you couldn't just throw out random bullshit and, you know, call it a day. The knockback scaling in this is so aggressive. In the center of the stage, you know, if your opponent's using Banana Guard, if they, you know, use Fair, Sayo, whatever you want to fucking call it, if they use that, you know, and you're at, like, 110, 120, you just, you're just gone. You are not living that. It, it, oh, oh, man. It's awesome. It's, it's so cool. Um, so, yeah, what's the next point? So all of that junk I just talked about, it, you know, it's the main reason why Multiverses is terrible now. But don't worry, it only gets worse. It's like a combination of Smash Bros. and a traditional fighter in the worst ways, you know, possible. It rewards spamming and has completely had all the life and spirit just sucked right out of it. When I was playing in the beta, I knew that I was playing Multiverses because I was having fun. I was having that experience. I was having fun not in the likes of any other platform fighter there is. Now when I play in the official release, it feels like I'm playing bootleg Smash Bros. And, you know, it makes me feel like I'm playing a free game. Like, this is the game your mom whips out when she says, You have Smash Bros at home, sweetie. And, like, I don't even like Smash Bros. Like, it's not my style of fighting game. So when you spit in my face and give me worse Smash Bros, at least from a gameplay perspective, yeah, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Because, like, while I don't like Smash Bros and it isn't for me, I can still have fun with it. I can still enjoy Smash Bros, you know, if I'm not, like, you know, being a fucking tryhard. I, I can still have fun with Smash Bros. It's a good game. And now, Multiverses, it just feels confused. It is like playing a game that currently has an identity crisis and is just doing too much and not enough at the same time. It's beautiful. Chef's kiss. 
Um, so let's get into the extra, you know, stuff real quick. You know, just a little lightning round. Um, because if you thought the core issues were as bad as it gets, uh, it only gets worse. That's the new multiverses tagline. It only gets worse. Uh, the net code and rollback, even more questionable and arguably worse. Uh, I dodge things on my screen, still get hit. Amazing. And even when I do, like, a perfectly timed dodge to where, you know, I should get that parry, I just don't sometimes. You, you know, sometimes the, the you know, system, it's tired. It doesn't want to, you know, reward the player for actually playing the game correctly. It, it just wants you to suffer. That's the multiverse's experience. Ah, you know, it, it, it doesn't always constantly crash. It's running, technically, even if it's terrible. Mmm. Perfect. Oh, let's do that lightning round now. Guilds were expected and said to be here. They aren't. Ranked was in beta. Not here. Statistics after matches. Not here. A UI that wasn't rip-off Fortnite. Not here. Alternate game modes like Silly Q, so that way you could, you know, have a nice casual time. Not here. But we do have rifts, we, we have rifts, Ginger. Please. Please, we have rifts. Rifts is the most shallow and empty part of the new game. I would rather, you know, play the most soulless mobile game, you know, for 12 hours straight than play the new rifts game mode. I would rather taser myself for fun than play rifts. I am not joking. I am genuinely not joking. What else? Oh yeah, levels are extremely grindy now. I've got like 60, you know, something hours in the game. And like the way it's presented, it makes it seem like it's really generous with like, you know, premium currency. Like, but no, no. Levels are extremely grindy. Like I said, 60 something hours in like, you know, the game plus, right? So you'd think that I'd have at least one character level 15 or, you know, quote unquote maxed out at least for like, I guess standard sense, but no. No, the, the highest my character is at level-wise is level 10, almost level 11, before I uninstalled the game because I just couldn't take it anymore. I've been trying to get, you know give this game the biggest of benefits of doubts and just trying to get adjusted to it and find any redeeming qualities. I genuinely tried. And you know what's even more awful? It's the free battle pass. And it's, you know, it's not really probably because of the reason you expect, you know. If you played the beta, they give you this free battle pass. You know, it's presumably a thanks for supporting the game, right? You know, during the beta. Well, you're actually just wrong, like I was. Because, you know, I thought, you know, they were just doing something nice. But as I realized, I realized, I got into the, you know, devs' heads. They realized that the game isn't even half as good as it used to be. So, they're trying to, like, trick your brain into thinking that you bought the battle pass, so that way you feel obligated to keep playing, even if you now hate the game. I I'm, I'm not joking, they're, they're trying to make you stay as effectively as possible. It's... Because, like, you know, you're afraid of not, like, getting that free in-game content, you, you know, it's limited time, right? So you, you get, like, this personal investment in the game. They're, like, trying to force you to make sure that you don't quit early. It's just the most scummy thing I've probably ever seen. It's, it's really sad. So, how can it get worse from here? Uh, Tony must have been asking himself that a lot to make sure he made the perfect, perfect Smash clone. Okay, I'm not actually hating on Tony specifically. I, I, I get, you know, my dejected tone. You know, my overall disappointment. It could seem like I, I'm genuinely, or genuinely blaming Tony. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to blame any one person in specific. But you know, that was a joke. Shut, shut up. Okay. Even though the game's a total mess in a shell of its former self, you know, alongside questionable generosity, you know, and, you know, trying to keep you playing. Even past everything of that, they ruin this game even more. Random inputs, baby. Despite the fact that you're holding the right stick, your attack will just come out left. Because, because fuck you. That's why. Fuck you. 
New multiverse is a middle finger to everyone who enjoyed the beta, I swear to god. And the game was riddled with a ridiculous amount of bugs. I swear, the game's had more bugs, you know, currently released as of right now than it ever did in the beta. Like, over double. I wish I was joking, but I am not. I, I'm just not, guys. Oh yeah, attack cancels have basically been completely removed as well. You can basically cancel almost no attacks with your dodges. Awesome, awesome. Even more casual friendly. Uh, a game for everyone is a game for no one. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh yeah, and any cool movement options through dodging, like any cool movement tech, it's, it, there's just nothing there. You, you don't get to have fun while moving around in the game anymore. The hitboxes on attacks, you know, they're just made extremely generously now. You know, just they're just huge. The hitboxes are huge. Like, God, I swear to God, you could give this to, like... You, you could give this to, like, a blind and deaf person, and they would, you know, still have a 50% chance of winning if they were just, you know, mashing buttons. This is the new and most beautiful multiverses you ever saw. Like, all of these little details just combi compile and compile to make a game that is unplayable for anyone who wants to take the game even just a little bit serious. Just, just a little bit. And let's not forget about that camera zoom. You know, who needs to see surroundings or, you know, area in a fighting game? Who, who needs to see, like, positioning in a positioning, you know, based game? When the camera can be so far zoomed in on your character's ass, it's basically a Twitch streamer's ass cam. And, like, okay, I have to give the, you know, credit where it's due. I'll give the devs as much credit as I can here. They've been super responsive on Twitter, and they've been working hard to make the game better, you know, as soon as they can. You know, they've been really on the ball. I can, like, genuinely, good for them. I, I'm glad that they're doing it. I'm glad that they're, you know, really open again. They're, they're on it. They're, they're, they're here. But it's... It's just, between all of the horrible changes, greedy practices, and loss of direction, as well as running, like, actual garbage, you can, you can just look on, you know, like, the Xbox player's end for, you know, that one. But, like, the one thing I can't, you know, blame them for, you know, I can't say that the devs are lazy or cowards. They're, they're here, they're present, and they're doing their best. But it's just... You, you can't release a game as broken as this. You can't release a game more broken than when it originally was in beta. When you take your game offline for, you know, about a year, and it comes out twice as buggy and more unplayable, when you change your UI to look like Fortnite for the sake of trying to get as much money from people as possible, and when you do the cardinal sin of just making the gameplay as unfun to play as possible, as beginner-friendly as one person could make it, it shows that multiverses is the problem with the gaming industry of today. It's a game held together by scotch tape and prayers. You know, release a broken mess, fix it later. I don't want to wait for later. I, I just want a decent game that, you know, while it won't get constant updates, it won't be constantly garbage either for most of it. it, it the new multiverse is, is an empty promise of a game. It makes a house of cards look like an uh, unmove like an immovable mountain by comparison. When I say that there's one line of code preventing the game from falling apart, I mean it. I I really do. Like I I mean that shit, dog. I mean that with my heart. There is one line of code that's, like, stretched out like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, you know, with the train. Th that one line of code is the only reason why Multiverses is still running. It, it, I, I, <laughs> it's a funny visual, but the sad part is that it's true. People have said this line on Twitter before about how Multiverses was the first game to go from a beta to a gamma. And I'll raise you all one higher, okay? Multiverses didn't go from a beta to a gamma. Multiverses went from a beta to a generic Smash clone. Let's let's call a spade a spade, guys. 
like, whenever I talk to people about multiverses from now on, I'm not gonna say multiverses, okay? Okay? Unless I'm referring to the beta, I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna say that one Smash clone that Warner made. Because this game, as far as I'm concerned, it's not multiverses, and it is not fit to wear that name. Thank you all for watching. Uh, sub if you like me being aggro. Uh, peace, dudes. Or, you know, argue with me in the comments, uh, you know, with you cope about how it's still such a totally good game. Ugh. Yeah, okay. If you enjoy it, good for you. I'm, I'm glad that someone can, but for me, for someone who's, you know, been in love with this game since the very beginning and to see how it is now, I am beyond disappointed. I'm, I'm heartbroken. Peace.